Tesla Semi email to reservation holders hints at improved specs for Tesla Semi. We have this new update about Tesla Semi, friends. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here a first time, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news, and ring the bell, share in social media, and give us thumbs up, please. So Simon Alvarez reports from Tesla Rati that it appears Tesla is ensuring that the Semi's production version would exceed the specs of the already impressive prototypes that were unveiled back in late 2017. As per a recent email sent by the company Tesla to customers in Germany, the Tesla Semi has been given some notable updates allowing the Class 8 electric V truck to perform better than expected. So this is a new interesting update on Tesla Semi. The message Simon writes in Testarati, which was reportedly sent to a German news outlet, noted that Tesla really had built several new semi-prototypes in late 2020. This statement seems to ring true as multiple sightings of updated semi-prototypes were indeed reported in the United States earlier this year. We have shared some in the on a, like Tesla semi running on a truck. The updated semi-prototypes featured some new parts like revamped windows, door handles, and tail lights. Friends, Tesla's message reportedly indicates that the design changes to the semi-electric semi-truck that were spotted in the new prototypes were only the tip of the iceberg. This was because the fundamental changes to the upcoming all-electric Class 8 truck were done under the hood, improving the semi's range, improving the semi's efficiency, improving the Tesla semi's reliability. So, the most important changes were technical updates to the vehicle architecture and drive, the email reads. So, in this update, we can also say that semi's range uh, performance and a lot of interesting things under the hood have changed in those new specs. Tesla did not quote an exact figure for the Semi's improved range. However, the company reportedly noted that the Semi's production units have a good chance at exceeding the initial 300 to 500 mile range estimates that Elon Musk announced during the vehicle's unveiling in late 2017. You can watch that video, it's online and you can see what they have said. So the Class 8 truck, as per the email, could also be charged very quickly, uh, likely thanks to the upcoming mega charger network. And I'm going to tell you just a little bit more uh, about that. So the actual specs of the Tesla Semi's mega chargers remain unknown for now. Though back in 2019, the company submitted its charging standard for electric trucks to Char Charlene, the industry body behind the com uh, combined charging systems, called CCS, uh, behind the combined charging system standard. Inter interestingly enough, Tesla's submission hinted at a high-powered charging system that could provide an output that's over one megawatt. If you're going to charge that Tesla Semi, you need really quick time because people have to deliver the stuff. So I wonder what the longer range Semi is now capable of, asked Simon Alvarez in Tesla Rati, close to 550 miles or 600, perhaps anyone can guess. I also hope that Tesla has made 800 volt motors for new Model S and Model X and that the same motors go into Semi and Cybertruck. Is it possible? Uh, they would improve efficiency and uh, charging speed over current 400 volt architecture. Um, I also can't wait to see what Sandy Monroe has to say about Tesla Semi, Sandy Monroe's take on the, also on the Model S a part to uh, confirm. So. On the relevant news, Electric is reporting that the Tesla prepares to use its new electric semi trucks between Fremont and Giga Nevada. This makes sense as a first route because um, it will be between Fremont and Giga Nevada. There is a lot of things to move. Tesla is preparing to support its upcoming new Tesla semi-electric trucks on the route uh, between Fremont Factory and Giga Factory in Nevada. The automaker is going to, um, to be its own best customers when it comes to the electric truck because Tesla needs to test these trucks and it has a lot of things to move between Giga Factory in Nevada and Fremont. Yesterday, Electric reported that Tesla was 
looking to hire its first service technicians for Tesla Semi and uh, they were surprised to see that uh, they were looking for people in Canada. Remember, I reported that uh, you can watch that video as well. Now, shortly after Tesla also added several same new positions at different locations. This may show where the other semi trucks are going to come, uh, where the main routes will be. Fremont, California, Reno, Nevada, Stockton, California, Rockland, California, Fresno, California. Now put them in the map and you will see what the route of the initial semi will be. So with the listing in Mississauga, Ontario in Canada, uh, Electric also speculated that Tesla was looking to add service capacity to support local early Tesla semi customers, most likely Walmart Canada, which is based in the region and ordered over 100 electric trucks from Tesla. As you have been hearing me reporting in the recent months and weeks, we have seen more Tesla semi orders coming uh, through uh, the through semi program. Now, for these new locations that I just mentioned in California and Nevada, the first four are clearly to support the route between Fremont Factory and Giga Factory, Nevada. Tesla moves a ton of products on the 260 mile route between the two factories. Giga, uh, Giga Factory in Nevada and uh, Fremont. All the battery packs and drivetrains are produced in Nevada and shipped to California where Tesla builds and assembles the electric cars. Tesla CEO Elon Musk previously referred to the automaker's logistic costs to carry cargo between the two locations as gigantic because Tesla has that costs a lot. Now, if Tesla uses Semi, it can bring down the cost between these two factories. It makes a prime route to use to upcoming Tesla trucks, uh, Tesla Semi trucks, uh, to lower these logistical costs. Tesla also has already moderately used its early prototypes on the route during testing, but it now plans to start production soon and the use of the route uh, should ramp up, hence the new service locations along the way. I think soon you will see a lot of Tesla semi truck between in this route between Fremont and uh, Giga Nevada. Jerome Guillen, president of Tesla Heavy Trucking, previously said that the automaker plans to be its own customer on that route with the Tesla semi. So guys, if you are in this route and you see semis right, um, driving, if you have a passenger, ask your passenger to take a video, send it to me, I will share it here, please. So the potential savings are important for to lower the costs of operations per mile. The cost savings could be also improved by using convoys with a platooning technology to reduce the cost of operation to 0.85 per mile, dollars per mile with a three-truck convoy, says Electric. Now, and as Electric reported last month, Tesla started building a new Tesla Semi production line in Nevada that will be able to build five trucks per week before moving to volume production in Texas next year. Tesla is expected to have at least a few dozen more Tesla semi trucks on the road this year. This is why I asked if you are on the road and you see a Tesla semi on the highway and you have a passenger, ask your passenger to make a take a video, please. There is another interesting news about electric semi trucks, friends. Uh, Freightline or Freightliner electric semi and commercial trucks available are already available to order and production being, uh, begins next year. So this will be the third electric semi-truck, Tesla, Cascadia, and Freightliner. Uh, Freightliner in 2018 revealed that it was working on an electric commercial trucks and that it would put a small fleet into service to test them. Three years, 38 trucks, and nearly 750,000 miles later, the company has announced that it will start taking orders on its electric trucks with production beginning late next year. Two models are available, the Class A tractor e Cascadia and the medium-duty chassis cab EM2. The e Cascadia is available with a one or two motor with output ranging from 360 to 525 horsepower. It has a battery pack with 475 kilowatt hour of uh, usable capacity that gives it an estimated range of 250 miles. It is capable of recharging to 80% in about 90 minutes 
those numbers kind of outshine the Volvo VNR electric, which in tractor form has a range of only 120 miles and maximum horsepower is just 455 horsepower. It charges a bit faster, however, at 70 minutes for an 80% charge. The only cab option for the Ikaskadja is a day cab, just like the Volvo. So it's going to be interesting what this Tesla new semi Tesla Semi's new specs will be that are under the hood, range, performance, charging time, and uh, I would love to, love to hear your comments on this, friends, in the comment section below. This is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please take a moment, subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle breaking news. Give us thumbs up, share in social media, and also I also found a way to stop the auto focus when i'm making this video so if this time it's much better there is no problem with focusing let me know please in the comment section below i would greatly appreciate i didn't know there is an option to stop the auto focus but you know from your last comments i learned that and did some research and found out i hope this works better so let me know friends in the comment section below i'll see you soon in our next report god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and have a great day see you soon